All right, so we are now um, on part 37, uh, CompTIA Pop Quiz, SY601. Let's get started with uh, question one. All right, time synchronization begins with configuring NTP on servers, devices, and host. Which time zone should you configure your NTP server utilize? A, central time zone. B, Eastern Time Zone, C, Pacific Time Zone, or D, Coordinate Universal Time, UTC. Correct answer is D, UTC, Coordinated Universal Time. Enterprises looking to deploy time synchronization should utilize three public servers. Set up a local internal NTP server that is used for all internal hosts as a reference timekeeper and only have internal NTP server make requests to the public servers. You should ensure that you are uh, standardizing on UTC time across all systems. It will make researching attacks and issue more relevant. Two, what type of remote access is the most widely used and secure method considering all your assets are located behind a firewall? A, VPN. B. APN, C. Private line terminal, or D. A real limited policy applied to inbound interfaces. Core answer is A. VPN. A virtual private network VPN provides privacy and security to users by creating a private connection across a public network connection. VPNs are used to access company networks protected by firewall that deny inbound and outbound access to from systems on the network. A domain name system DNS has a secure counter protocol called DNSSEC. If you can't implement DNSSEC, which of the following are ways to secure DNS without migrating to DNSSEC? Select all that apply. A. Limit or disable zone transfers. B. Use trusted DNS for waters. C. Use firewalls and limit communications to the DNS server. Or D. Use caching only DNS servers. The answers are all of them A, B, C, D. All the responses are correct. You should use caching only DNS servers, use DNS for waters, use DNS advertisers and resolvers. Protect DNS from cache pollution. Enable DDNS for secure connection only. Disable zone transfers. And use firewalls to control communication to and from the DNS servers. 4. Just how destructive are viruses? A. Viruses are, have cost companies billions. B. Viruses have cost companies hundreds of dollars. C. Viruses have cost companies millions of dollars. Or D, viruses are mostly an annoyance and cost very little. The correct answer is A, viruses have cost company billions. According to the report published by Cybersecurity Ventures in May 2019, damages from ransomware cost businesses an astonishing $11 billion in lost revenue, productivity, and remediation. 5. What is one of the ways that enter malware software detect malware in hostile code? A. Scanning ports of the malware to determine if it is hostile. B. Making behavior-based observations. C. Copying the suspect file and compromise it. Or D. Realize that malware is mostly an annoyance. Correct answer is B. Making behavior-based observations. Ant malware software that use behavior-based malware detection can detect previously unknown threats by identifying malware based on characteristics and behaviors. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comment, please leave it in the comment section below the video. And guys, don't forget, click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell for notifications so you will never miss any of my videos.